everyone and welcome back to another Rocket Lab Saturday with STG Stock Trek Girl. And on today's Rocket Lab Saturday, we are going to go over some exciting stuff and particularly uh, the new upcoming mission, There and Back Again. Um, now, I am really excited about this mission. I know many of you are too, as they will finally be catching the Electron rocket with a helicopter on its return descent. So this is going to be huge. Um, unfortunately, it, I think it was supposed to be starting at uh, around the 19th of April. They were planning on doing it. It did get pushed back to April 22nd by a few days due to uh, the weather. So that is a factor and it does make one think, does using a helicopter as you know part of the whole reusability effort, is that going to be you know hugely impacted by weather as well as visibility such as nighttime launches? So that is something to think about. Um, I don't know as far as nighttime launches go maybe they just plan on scheduling more like of the catches for the daylight launches uh unless they have something you know really out there planned to catch it in the dark you know whether it be a spotlight or night vision i don't know but you know who knows what rocket lab will come up with they seem to be very creative people so um i i have no idea what they're going to do with the night missions but um i think they'll you know, they're going to work around it per se, just like they work around the weather, they'll work around the visibility issues. So I do um, believe that even though utilizing a helicopter does have its limitations, I think that it's something that they can work around. And I don't think it's going to hinder the recovery factors too much for the electron rocket. Now, some awesome news, okay? Rocket Lab has finally broken ground already on their Neutron facility in Wallops Island. Rocket Lab CEO Peter Beck says the company's Electron rocket will be launched at Wallops Island, and soon the newer Neutron rocket will be built here on the shore and then hit the skies. We, we can you know, reach a number of orbits that we need for our, for our customers. Uh, also, it's a wonderful site in the fact that it's, uh, it's, it's quite quiet, and we already have a launch pad here uh, and, a, and, a, and some facilities here, so it was really you know, the, the, the natural selection uh, you know, for us. This groundbreaking was a big step on the road to a Rocket Lab liftoff from Wallops Island. The Rocket Lab CEO tells us construction on some small facilities at the complex will begin in a few weeks. The plan is for the whole site to be operational in two years. Now this is big news because they are making haste to bring uh, the facility to manufacture Neutron into fruition which of course Neutron is it's huge literally but you know the news is huge and that by building Neutron getting Neutron um, tested and in working order they're going to be able to deliver you know large amounts of satellites in one go so the whole purpose of, of Neutron is to enhance you know it, its launching capabilities as far as capacity and, and that is a big deal especially when it comes to Rocket Lab building their own space infrastructure, building, you know, their own constellation and using it for, you know, data for, for what purpose? I'm not sure yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a nice revenue generating purpose. So that's also going to bode well for the stock in the foreseeable future. Upcoming Catalyst, here we go. You know, we have the There and Back Again mission here on the 22nd. I can't express how, how big of a mission this is. 
Because think about it, this is showcasing their reusability. This is like their whole business model to bring the cost down. And if if they can't complete this, you know, that, that might bring their business model into question. So the pressure must definitely be on for Rocket Lab in this next launch. Um, I think that they're going to do an amazing job. They usually don't move forward with something until they're very confident of success. You know, they, they've they tested. They have a nice big brand new helicopter. Speaking of that helicopter, let's go in a little bit more about what exactly they're going to be using to catch this booster with. So let's go take a look at this awesome helicopter. Now Rocket Lab will be using the Sikorsky S92 helicopter to capture the Electron rocket. Now this particular helicopter has a lot to offer. Now Rocket Lab's helicopter will have about 151 knots at 281 kilometers an hour with a thousand kilometer range. So this helicopter has got enough power between its two engines, not to mention it flies point to point all day. So plenty of room to move around in and it uh, has many options including armor and survivability equipment, which who knows, maybe Rocket Lab can utilize that. Um, and then also it, it's able to take off and land in very tight spots, so like a barge or going back to base, which will make it particularly helpful. Um, it has an advanced flight management system, which is great when you have the incremental weather and all that going on in uh, New Zealand. So this particular helicopter is definitely um, a top choice for Rocket Lab, and this definitely shows why. So now, as far as Neutron goes, at least we don't have to worry about catching it with a helicopter because it will be, you know, returning to its home base, kind of like one of those, you know, homing pigeons. It just, it just likes to go back home, basically. So, um, but another interesting tidbit uh, that Peter Beck did mention um, in, in Wallops in an interview was that they did uh, mention the, the barge. You know, because typically we thought, okay, it's going to literally just fly back to home pad. But a barge did get brought up in the interview. So perhaps, you know, they might use like a landing barge just outside of Wallops, have it land on the barge and then transfer it to Wallops. I'm not sure how they're doing that. Or maybe they're talking about the barge in reference to Electron. So I, I could see it more of, of being, you know, in reference to Electron, maybe, um, using a helicopter, getting the helicopter to the barge. I mean, I don't know. I do think that, you know, Neutron flying back to home base is definitely going to be a game changer. So um, the fact that they've already broken ground on Neutron, I think, is a catalyst in itself because it shows that they are being quick in the development of this new rocket. Um, I would, however, like to see them, you know, finally launch from Wallops because, you know, here we are breaking ground on another facility and, you know, we already have Electron there, right? And we haven't even launched Electron yet, but, you know, we're waiting on, you know, the flight software and the NASA and all that. So, uh, the certification and... So we'll have to see, you know, I'm sure very, very soon they'll be releasing further developments. I mean, my prediction is that the latter half of this year, we're going to be launching from Wallops. So um, even if it's not in the first half of the year, I do think in the latter half of the year, we will launch from Wallops Island with Electron. So definitely have to keep an eye on that. Also, hello, we have the lunar mission coming up. I've mentioned this the past few Rocket Lab Saturdays. Lunar mission is going to be huge. They've already completed, you know, the CES Lunar satellite and everything. Everything's getting prepped, ready to go. And I am super excited um, because these are two big catalysts back to back, you know, from the helicopter catch to the lunar mission. This is going to prove Rocket Lab's ability to, to be among the top tier of, of rocket um, companies with SpaceX. So this is really going to solidify Rocket Lab's position among the creme de la creme of space rocket launchers. So 
keep your eye out on these next two missions. They are going to be critical for Rocket Lab gaining notoriety in the space industry. So let's go check out the latest stock price. Now, um, let's check out this past closing. It was closed, the market itself was closed on Friday. So uh, the closing price that we will be looking at will be from Thursday. So let's compare that to last week and see how you know we are looking and moving forward. Um, hoping for some good news up ahead here. Here we are with our last close of uh, 8.42 is our last closing price. Now the previous um, Rocket Lab Saturday, the closing price was 7.80. So it was a little bit, you know, up here. Um, so here's the wedge that we were forming, you know, kind of a, a long-term wedge we had going on and then another short-term wedge here um, we were kind of like going up and down up and down it appears we have kind of kicked out of that uh, down trend line possibly um, is it gonna stay up there you know <laughs> I think come Monday uh, when market opens it should be very interesting I do think you know we need to get past this nine dollar mark here you know, we're going to have probably a little bit of resistance here at this $9 mark. And then um, again, you know, up above here. So I don't know if we can get past this $9 mark, we might have a chance in, in you know, starting a new pattern upwards. So we'll have to see. I know um, a lot of people have been discussing, you know, the summer 2022 dipper as far as with the Fed and, you know, recession and all that. I think Rocket Lab though is a growing company. It's going to be creating more jobs um with the new wallops um facility that's being built for Neutron. So, I don't know. I mean, I I think Rocket Lab surprisingly can seem to perform, you know, in the green as here when other stocks have been kind of, you know, performing in the red. It's really held its own. All year long Rocket Lab has held this support line. Um, so I think it's a strong stock. I think it'll continue to be strong and, you know, we're looking like we might be on the upwards trajectory. Let's just get past this $9. We'll talk more when we get past this $9 and see where we're going. So hopefully with these next two catalysts, uh, we can break that nine with the there and back again mission and the lunar capstone mission. So next rocket lab Saturday ought to be intriguing as far as this price movement. Quick summary, we are up from last week, and that, that's great. We're still in a good accumulation zone, so keep adding to your shares if you are averaging down or accumulating. And that completes Rocket Lab Saturday. I have missed you all. I was in a car accident um, about, you know, a week ago, so I'm, I'm doing a lot better. You know, not as sore as I was a few days ago, so that's good. Um, so I will be marching ahead now with with my schedule as far as my videos and I look forward to sharing more with you all and be sure to follow me on Twitter to uh, chat with me and ask questions as well as interact with other fellow Stock Trek fans and you can find me under the handle Stock Trek Girl and I'm excited and I can't wait to hear from you all and until next time invest long and prosper.